Hey Gemini, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra. This is going to be your check-in for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 2021. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. If you're returning, thank you so much for your support. I'm going to start with my blessing and cleansing here in just a quick moment. Um, please keep in mind this is for a very large collective, so it's very normal for some or none of this to resonate with you. If at any point this reading does resonate with you, please hit the like button so that other Geminis will have the opportunity to view this video. Also, if you guys are interested in weekly live readings or um, posts for the collectives as far as zodiac signs and or group collectives, please check out my Instagram page. Information is in the description box below. I do post weekly and as I said a few moments ago, I do live readings every week. So tomorrow, Thursday, September 23rd, I will be going live on Instagram. Um, <clears throat> it's a great time for us to come together. I usually teach a lesson about what we're going through as a collective as far as healing. Um, and I also do a collective reading for everyone as well. So if that's something you want to be a part of, check out my Instagram. If you're interested in a personal reading, all of that information is in the description box below. With that being said, Gemini, we're going to go ahead and cleanse the area now with my Palo Santo and start with my blessing. I do advise that you stay for the blessing as it is part of my gift. And uh, I have noticed not only with personal clients, but as well as here on YouTube, those that do not listen to the blessing tend to not resonate with the message. Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit of the Most High. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Gemini in regards to their current life journey, life path, and soul situation. I ask that these messages provide Gemini with clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as higher knowledge and a higher perception on what soul lessons and soul cycles they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. All right. <clears throat> In true Gemini fashion, as I began shuffling, my mind started to wander to a whole bunch of other scenarios, right, that I have going on, a whole bunch of other situations. I feel right now you're in a space, Gemini, where you just want peace, you just want calm, you finally want everything to go smooth, but you're trying to tackle too many situations at once. You're trying to deal with too many issues at once. You need to just focus on one is what spirit is showing me. All right. So let's take a look here and see what's going on for the collective of Gemini. All right. So energy of the current situation, you have the eight of cups. Okay, so you may be at a distance from someone. You may have walked away or been separated. You have the three of pentacles as the challenge. Yeah, you're struggling with getting everything in order here. It's because you're meant right now, wherever you are, whatever you walked away from, whoever walked away from you, this is supposed to be a spiritual awakening and healing for you. Okay, you have Pisces energy here. Capricorn energy. Ooh, forgive me. As I dropped your card, it is the Eight of Wands, forgive me. Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Okay, so that is the root cause. So there was something that was out of alignment. Everything was up in the air. That's what I was feeling. Um, <clears throat> also, I'm feeling as though something happened very quick, very sudden. You may have had to move abruptly, but I'm seeing you had to walk away from something abruptly. Recent past, you have the Queen of Wands. What's coming in? You have temperance. Beautiful. So here's that healing. Immediate future, you have the queen of swords. Could be dealing with another air sign or that could be you, Gemini. It is Aquarius energy. Uh, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Your current energy is the queen of pentacles. Okay. So this is Taurus energy, but you are, you're in a state of 
wanting to work on yourself, strengthening your foundation, self-care. Outside energy is the five of pentacles. Hopes and fears, you have the high priestess. Outcome, probable outcome is the world. So let's take a look. Overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the magician. Yeah, you know, this is about you finally getting things to start moving. This is about you using the power within. I mean, you do have Gemini energy here with the magician as well as Virgo. Gemini, you have a lot of great ideas. You have a lot of great plans. You have a lot of great ways to make something happen for you. It's actually putting it into action that I feel you're struggling with, okay? It's almost like in order for you to start getting something completed, you feel as though you can't do it until other things are in order. There's some type of commitment with this three of pentacles that is blocking you from being able to heal, let go of, and get into alignment of what you need in your life. I, for some of you, this could be work. For some of you, I feel it could be a commitment to a certain type of belief or behavior, a pattern, a toxic pattern of, of family beliefs or how maybe how you were dealt with <clears throat> as a child, whatever wounds you have coming in from childhood. But this could also be the blending of two families and it's causing difficulty. You're wanting to walk away from something because I feel something happened. This is a very particular message. So let me see if I can put this in collective terms um, because keep in mind, it is a large collective. You guys could all be going through something similar, but the details will be different. So let me try to put this in a collective. <sighs> What I am seeing is that for a collective of you, Gemini, you had to move into a situation very suddenly and quickly, or you chose to move into, this could be moving in with someone, this could be taking a relationship to a higher level of commitment, but something happened very quickly, very unexpectedly. And then I'm seeing a separation, a walking away from, a needing to release because it wasn't really satisfying. There was still something missing. You still felt as though you were not being fulfilled or you weren't fulfilling a promise in regards to this situation. Okay, flip the energy if you need to. Remember, this is a large collective. It has to do with some type of commitment. It has to do with some type of working together, either working together as a team, or maybe you were needing to, like I said, blend families together. Each of you could have children. There could be other people involved, but it was communication. It has to do with working together as a team. It has to do with being able to weave together different energies. I feel it was too much. <clears throat> I feel it was too much. In the recent past, Gemini, I, it's so funny. Sorry, there's a, something flying. <laughs> it's funny because I feel, like I said in the beginning, you're all over the place. There's a lot of energy here, a lot of different queen energy too. You have the queen of wands, the queen of swords, the queen of pentacles. So I feel as though you are, of course, because you're Gemini, a jack of all trades, right? You wear many different hats. You try to fulfill many different positions within your life. Okay. Um, in the recent past, you have the Queen of Wands. Strong Leo energy. So in the past... There's a fire energy here. It doesn't have to be you, but it could be as well. I feel maybe you have fire in your chart. This is somebody who was loyal. This is somebody who was in the position of getting things done. Very focused at the task at hand. Very passionate. Okay. And I feel that you had, this is tying in with the magician for me. You were in the process of manifesting your dreams and your goals. Okay. Okay. Clarify the Queen of Wands, please, for Gemini's recent past.
Ace of Swords. Yeah, so again, you were in this position of <clears throat> speaking your truth, right? Bringing in clarity. You also have the Five of Wands. There may have been people against you. There may have been a lot of competition. There may have been a lot of arguments. But I'm seeing you kind of put your foot down. I'm seeing you put your foot down. And then you also have the Fighter, which is the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you felt like you had to defend your position here, Gemini. You felt like you needed to defend your position on a certain decision or maybe things that were said in the past because I'm seeing here a lot of people, either you or the other person, there's a lot of people that were kind of blocking out what you had to say or blocking out the truth of a situation. It was causing um, conflict and maybe you were the one that came in. Somebody came in, I do feel like it was you, Gemini, to try to water down the argument if that makes sense like try to put the fire out okay but it's interesting because I'm still getting a very strong energy of yeah I'm here to stop the arguing however I'm still going to speak and stand in my truth I'm still going to say what needs to be said okay the energy surrounding you right now is temperance this is the divine stepping in for you Gemini Sagittarius energy God is really wanting you to release something that is toxic, that is no longer serving you. They're give, he's given you a period, a time frame right now where I feel you have kind of isolated yourself from others because you're very focused on yourself. This is a time for you to recognize any behaviors, any patterns um, within yourself that need to be released and healed okay addictions anything like that the way we speak you know this is a time for you to to be analyzing and removing stains on your heart working with god clarify temperance please for the energy surrounding gemini you have asked for things to start materializing in your life your wishes your dreams what you want and i'm seeing here with the three of swords under that that you are <clears throat> heartbroken or confused as to why things aren't aligning in the way that you want them to. And it's because there's still pieces within you that need to be looked at and worked on. And for some of you, you may not want to look at them. Maybe the truth is too much. You have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, this is a time of patience and growth. Spirit is asking you to be patient while something takes place. Also, for some of you, there's a message of slow down. I feel like you're wanting results too quickly here, Gemini, and it just doesn't work like that. It just doesn't work like that. And here's the weaver. Yeah, so um, Page of Swords, You same thing with the Three of Pentacles. It's like you've got to weave everything together and when you're making something when you're weaving a web or when a spider is weaving a web you know it, there's there's steps to take there's a process there's patience it's slowing down right and I feel that's what spirit is trying to get you in a situation of understanding that you don't need to rush anything this is a process Immediate future, you have the Queen of Swords, okay? So, um, <clears throat> again, a lot of communication taking place, a lot of thoughts, but I feel like this is you really seeing the truth of a situation, okay? Fixed air, Aquarius energy here. So it's like observing. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, perhaps, or maybe this situation involves an Aquarius, or you have that in your chart. But I see somebody being very careful with the words that they use they're paying attention now to how they communicate what they say clarify the queen of swords for the immediate future please ten of cups so there is a talk about emotional happiness right? Emotional fulfillment. What makes you happy? What makes them happy? Ace of Wands. So some type of forgiveness. And then again, here you have the Knight of Swords. So there is a message coming into you. 
could even be from this queen of swords it doesn't have to be a feminine but there is a message coming in that is talking about emotional fulfillment this person saw happiness with you or you saw happiness with them okay two of birds so it could it's almost like with the three of birds yeah it's almost like you guys had all this happiness together because like i said there's an apology coming in you guys can't see each other now you can't speak to each other like there was a separation here hurt words were said a lot of arguing a lot of back and forth i almost feel like one of you shoots down the other person's dreams it's like there's so much so much inside of someone's mind and i don't know if this is you or the other person but i'm i'm, I'm starting to see someone who almost self-sabotages this particular situation or this connection gemini everything is shot down <clears throat> there was a lot of big dreams here but there was something that was hidden there was some type of manipulation or or deceptive behavior here and somebody is wanting to come in and reignite the flame and they're wanting to apologize. They're wanting to apologize. They're wanting to, to clarify. Yeah, because again, here's the seven of swords with the knight of swords. So it's almost like somebody wants to rush in and, and have a truthful conversation about what was really happening. Okay. There has to be a shift here though in the dynamics because I'm feeling a lot of confusing energy, a lot of untruthful energy coming through here a lot of things hidden okay your energy is the queen of pentacles you're trying to be very grounded you're trying to make very logical mm, i don't even want to use the word logical because that's more queen of swords but with the queen of pentacles what i'm getting from this yes logical decisions but you're trying to remain very um sturdy in your decisions if that makes sense like you don't want to be budged you may be focused also right now on how to build up your material wealth. You're trying to, you don't really want to focus on this other situation because I feel that it gets in the way. But what spirit is trying to teach you, Gemini, is this situation has to be dealt with because it is affecting your coins. It's affecting your work. And if you don't address it, and handle it and release it and heal it the way that it needs to be I, I i see issues coming in as far as finances it gets in the way of your work clarify the queen of pentacles please because you have some great ideas when it comes to money but this is also about your foundation and your stability in your home and right now it's like you're kind of rethinking something you're analyzing it again you're, you're feeling like maybe you made the wrong decision. Yeah. Ten of swords. There's an energy of feeling defeated, of feeling let down. Four of swords. Yeah, you are not communicating with somebody. There's a lot of, of energy happening within the head space here where again like i said it was you felt as though something was shot down or somebody was shooting down dreams you don't have much to say you're wanting to end something you could be dealing with an earth sign and you're ending that situation with an earth sign okay mainly taurus energy here also we have capricorn virgo as well yep five of pentacles which we have here so you're feeling abandoned you're feeling left out somebody just kind of disappeared and ghosted on you five of cups a lot of sadness for how this situation ended a lot of emotions are involved here um something is over and i am seeing that you are in a space of of needing to deeply heal yourself now yeah gosh five of cups three of cups which is the eight of cups okay so let me explain something because i am seeing the energy of, of walking away from a situation or somebody walking away from you this is happening for you gemini i don't want you to get too caught up in why because what spirit is showing me is this ending this pain this all of this has to happen because spirit is needing you to go within 
stop looking at what the other person did wrong and, and start looking within yourself because that's the only way you're going to be able to help things in a future situation, whether with this person or not. We can't change someone else's behavior or actions or beliefs, but we can ours. And that is the first step to healing. Okay, you, you have an energy here of feeling left because you, the outside energy coming towards you again is the five of pentacles. So somebody does feel like something has ended with you. It's over. Okay, both of you are feeling detached, isolated, cold. <clears throat> Clarify the five of pentacles, please. For the other person's energy. I think that this is a period of time where two people need to just pull back so that they can work on themselves yeah five of swords you may have gotten into an argument with this person there may have been hurt words said there may have been you know deceit lying manipulation but it, it is a difficult cycle i feel that no communication is taking place between you and this person you also have the king of wands here with the protector so it, it you could be dealing with a fire sign doesn't have to be but it, this person is not this person has closed themselves off from you. They do not want to, to have any conversations. Yeah, they feel like this is the best decision for them. They are hopeful. You have the six of trees and the ace of cups. They're hopeful that you guys can move past this. Okay, this person does have a lot of emotions for you, Gemini. There is a lot of love here. Again, this could be a family uh, situation as well. But this person also feels that they need to close off and protect themselves. Hopes and fears, you have the high priestess. <laughs> I literally just heard it's like you're, you're hoping to be more connected to your intuition and trust your intuition. But at the same time, you don't want to trust it because you don't like the answer that it's giving you. I feel that this full moon has been very difficult for you. It's been very difficult for a lot of us. Um, it's Pisces. So the emotions are running wild. You are needing to sit in your energy and really get to know yourself here. And I feel that's something that you're not ready to address. There are still some things within you, if I can pick this up again, how funny, um, within you, Gemini, that need to be reflected upon and addressed upon. You have some deep emotional wounds in here that are blocking you from having any real connections. I'm seeing a lot of lust-based connections. I'm seeing a lot of illusions here, not really seeing the reality of something, okay? And the outcome is the world. So you're closing out a very difficult cycle. You're ending situations because it's time for you to evolve and ascend past this. You're shedding. Clarify the world, please. What you once thought was your world will no longer be. I, I'm just seeing a massive shift for you here. Yeah, three of cups. So this is a time of celebration. <clears throat> the crow, which is the magician. Yes, because this is you coming full circle and starting to manifest what it is you've been wanting. And then here you have the King of Cups with the romantic gaining control over your, and here's the Six of Trees, Six of Pentacles. So bringing in that balance, gaining control over your emotions. That's what this temperance says. You needed to reflect, you needed to connect so that you could bring in the life that you want. So you're going to step through. It's okay. To leave things in the past, Gemini. It's okay to leave things in the past. What's done is done. What's over is over. All right, Holy Spirit. Closing messages, please, for Gemini in regards to this situation. Closing messages, please, for Gemini. In regards to this situation. What do you need to release? Okay, it's like I said, you guys do have something that needs to be addressed and worked on. Nothing is yet set in stone. Just because something looks like it's over now doesn't mean that it always will be. Meditate and contemplate, needing to connect closer with God. Show the world the real you. It's like I said, there's something type of illusion here. Okay, bottom of the deck, nothing will come of this situation. So 
That's why spirit is telling you, stop looking on the outside. You need to look at yourself. You can't change someone else's opinions, thoughts, but you can change yourself. All right, Gemini, I'm sending you guys so much love and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.